Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we will be making graph using PowerPoint presentation tool. So it is very simple. First, we need Excel sheet on which we have the data of treatments like here we have two treatments. One is wild type and another is mutant type. Let's suppose uh, here are the three independent biological repeats. So first we need to get its average here are the values so these are two treatments so first we need to get their average because we will be getting average of three so here we can write is equal to because whenever we start with equal to it start it takes as a formula so we will take average we will double click and we will select those cells for which we want to take average so here is the average of three so let's suppose for these all three we want to take an average here just we will copy paste it will automatically just paste the formula to the next cells we can see that uh, let's suppose we check this one we can see that this is the average of leaf and if we want to check this one we can see that this is the average of panicle so you can just copy paste your formula it will automatically shift the cell to its new address so uh, similarly we can do like uh, the mutant type we can just simply grab or uh, we can just copy paste both we can do so it is just automatically calculating its average for next cell let's suppose we can check this one so here it is calculated for average so because for for graphs we also need standard error or standard deviation so how we can calculate we can simply just use write stdv this is the standard deviation so we need to write the standard deviation of wild type so the first three so it is the standard deviation so we can just copy and paste this formula everywhere because i am just leaving two cell empty because we are calculating that average of three so similarly we can just calculate the standard deviation of mutant type uh, so it is very simple so now we need to test its uh, t test we can write equal to and we can write t test and we can double click it shows the array one so we need to test this one we can place comma and here should be the next array two so it is the array two and the we want one tail test we can click on one or we can simply write here another one for one sample so we can close the bracket so it is the t test so we can just copy the formula and simply like this so if this value is less than 0 0.05 so this is less than 0 0.05 this is also uh, significant this is also significant this is also significant this is 0 0.05 so it is also significant but only at 5% so you can check like 0 0.05 and 0 0.01 0 0.01 so if and these values of t test are less than are equal to i mean if it is less than 0 0.05 it is uh, significant if it is also less than 0 0.01 it is mean it is highly significant for here you can place one star and uh, for for this you can place two two star so this data for all panicle 3 centimeter 7 centimeter 16 centimeter leaf and root for all these things I have already pasted, we can see that this is wild type and mutant type. 
so for making graph you can just use only these two you can insert graph and uh, here we can select the go back and uh, so uh, first we can just place all the uh, standard error bar here we can go to plus sign we can go to standard error bar we can go to more options for while type so we can go to while type we can go to custom and specify the value for one we can just read this and select the whole length for while type because this is the while type error and for the both positive and negative because it is for while types so then we will select again this one so it will just automatically change so now if we want uh, we, we can see here that it is automatically changed uh, the length for while type but it is the mutant type it remains the same so we can select again go to this place we can go to more options we can go to custom specify value and now we can choose for mutant type uh, sorry let me uh, move this uh, okay so here are the mutant type standard error so we can select this line remember to clear this one so here we can select again similar for while type so that's all so here is our graph we can just copy and take it to the <laughs> select with the left click and you can just first little resize this graph by just dragging in equal direction so here you can write just br but remember to put its same size like we can use times new rem and the color we can change into black and here click on the lines and just press delete and here we can just change them to times new roman and the size could be 10 here for again we can change them into times new ramen we can change them into 10 and color should be black so uh, now we can click on this we can go to we can change its color into no fill and uh, we can make a solid lines of black color so similarly if we want to change its color we can change it into black so uh, here again sorry it should be just a single click so that it should be no fill for all and uh, we can just select all uh, and uh, we can just change its color to black so it is the simple we can uh, before here we can make this this is the missing in line we can go here go to uh, X tick mark option we can select major into outside uh, we can say that and similarly we can select this and again we can select major into outside so that's all uh, this is your graph so now if you want to adjust it length you can click on this you can go to format or even you don't want to go to format you can just simply uh, make uh, its size different and uh, you can change its shadow if you want and if any other changes 
you want that can also be but if you want to say change its format you can like for each one save you can want to hide 4.5 and let's suppose this height you want 7.5 so you can adjust it automatically and if you want to adjust their height we can i always minus 27 and 57 so for putting stirrings for statistics you can simply go to shapes and check this you can just put a small like all were the significant you can just make all this and uh, change its size and shape according to your choice so how we can check this all we can go back to excel sheet we can and uh, the the t test so all are less than 0 0.02 except the leaf so we can just put all the double sterics on all except this so going back we can just put all the double sterics on all except leave you can simply just copy paste if you cannot drag So because for the leaf it is one star, so I am going to change it to one star. So that's all.